Yeah, so let's have a look at the new config from HAProxy. This uh, this new config, allow, uh, this is not really new uh, from HAProxy. You can create a stick table with a limited number of uh, connections and expire the time to leave. What's new is here, uh, the stick on. So uh, in 2.4, they added uh, MQTT protocol uh, inspection. So now you can do an MQTT field value uh, and uh, inspect the connect request and then take uh, uh, grab the client identifier to use it as a key in the stick table. This is basically it. So I've added this uh, uh, this stick table to the uh, EMKX TCP backend. Uh, let's bring it up. Some issues. Uh, it's one of the nodes. Will be a race condition. Let's do it again. And if the uh, so the network has been deleted, let's try again. Seems to be running now. Let's see the HA proxy, the stick table currently is empty, we used zero. Now we try to start a subscriber. Uh, in the product corporation. Okay. The HA proxy is not exposed, so I need to use its IP address. Uh, this is the HA proxy's you. IP address. Try again. Yes, now it's connected. This interesting back again. So you can see that. Uh, Server EMQX1 has a client ID, stick to it. Let's stop it. Let's do it there. If we start again, we can see that it's uh, node one getting the connection again. Let's try again. Yeah, 
this basically means uh, we try enough time. It's a uh, way to uh, to prove that it's reliable, right? We have two nodes in the cluster. Uh, if it's a random dispatch, then one of the nodes will. It's not going to be always the, the, the same node getting the connection. That means this uh, CT table is working. Let's try to start another one. Two, for example. Now you can see two clients. Client to two is connected to the MKX2. So, with the help of this uh, stick table uh, dispatch, uh, we should be able to avoid a lot of. Uh, session migrations between the nodes when the connect uh, when the client comes comes and goes yeah that's my first demo